All right, guys, so we're getting ready to add our another accessory to our Kodiak travel trailer. And what I've got here are two of these. These are sewage hose storage tubes right here that mount to the bottom. They just, uh, they're telescoping, so you can extend these to adjust just about any kind of frame out there, you know, typical travel trailer or a fifth wheel frame. So real, real simple, just all plastic. There's nothing to rust there. And both of the ends open up just like that. And these are sized to fit all of your standard RV uh, sewage lines. So you can slide those things in there and uh, put the cap on, close it up. You can even put a pin there or a padlock if you want to, to kind of secure the cap there. Uh, Who is I, gonna steal a you never know. I was thinking about maybe putting, we might put a linchpin on there just yeah. to, just to keep, I mean, there is a, that thing snaps in pretty tight. So I doubt that it's going to come loose. And I've seen these on a lot of people's travel trailers. So they're very common uh, on there. And I don't think I've ever noticed a lot, but like I said, we do have two of them that I'm going to put on. And the reason why I'm putting two is because I've got, we've got four hoses that we carry with us for our Kodiak. The reason why we have four is that sometimes you just need, but there's been places where I've actually had to use three hoses in order to get where their sewer hookup is. Cause not a, those, who, those sewer connections are never in the most convenient location, right? They're always gonna be like way in the front or way off to the side somewhere. And we also, we have two um, exits on ours. So we have one for the front sink and then we have it for the bathroom in the back. So I like to put two hoses on ours and then wire it together and then go over to the thing. So um, so we're gonna have two of them. So it'd be a pretty simple installation. This thing does come with this like center uh, bracket right here that just snaps onto the tube. I'm gonna use this as a template. So I've got a clamp. What I'm gonna do is just clamp this to the frame and I'm gonna mark the hole locations and I'm gonna pre-drill the holes. It'll just make it a lot easier. They do give you the self-tapping screws with the kit, but I like, I don't like sitting there trying to drill a hole in a thick frame with a screw. So I'm gonna pre-drill it with a 7 32nd drill bit, and then we'll just simply drive the screw up in there, and that's it. We'll have uh, two, two more storage tubes on the outside that's gonna help remove some of that, some of the uh, hardware, the, the hoses and everything I've got stored in the front cargo compartment, the pass-through storage of the Kodiak, and that's gonna get some of that stuff out of that and outside and underneath the, the camper. So let's go get these things mounted up. What do you say? You ready to help me? Eh, no, I am. <laughs> I'll let you handle the camera. I'll do the heavy, the heavy lifting. Okay, here. deal. <laughs> All right, so my locations that I plan on putting these two uh, tubes is, one's gonna go right here and one's gonna go right here. These are the gates, the uh, waste gates for your gray and black water. So. We've got enough room for one to go right there. And then of course, another one's gonna go right back there. All right, so should be pretty simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this guy as the template, get that clamped on there, mark my hole locations. We'll measure from the end of the frame there to this to make sure that we're kind of centered on both sides and it's square. And I'll get those drilled. Should be pretty simple. Laying on your side to do this is not ideal. No, it's not. There isn't a lot of uh, precision <laughs> involved with this right here. <laughs> this is nothing like being on the machine. It sounds like my glasses are fogging up because it's so humid outside. It just got done raining like a ton. I'll come back and tighten this side up. I want to get that side drilled over there. Yep. Just getting them on there. 
So that the worst part of this side's done. There we go. All right. Now we'll go to the other side and drill four more holes and finish bolting it in. And I'll tighten these back up once we uh, get the other side done. So that was nine inches to this one. This one was 25 and a quarter. I'm just measuring to the end of the frame to the front of the flange here so we can kind of get them squared away. You might need a cold beverage after this. Yep. Cold beverage and a hot grill. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. All right. This is not my good side to drill on because I'm having to use my left arm. There's the first one. Yay. Of course, we got to tighten the other side, but that's okay. I'm trying to get the hard stuff out of the way while I'm laying here. Yeah. Got another screw there? Yep. Okay. That's two of them on. Just gonna leave those on. All right, I just need to go tighten up the other side. Okay. This will be done. Another project checked off. Yep. Looking good. All right, so I've got this finished up. What I ended up doing was I added a, a half inch stainless steel washer between the plastic and the frame there. You know, we're also pushing up against this uh, cover of the underbelly there. And the way that it was screwing it up, it was kind of bowing this and that was making this a little egg shape. So I put a half inch washer between there and I also used a quarter inch stainless steel washer on the, the head of the screws there as well. And that worked out pretty good. And you can take that off right there and snap it back in. Let's see, there you go. Snap it in just like that. And that one's working good too, but you can see the, uh, the washer in between there. That kind of give it a little more stability so that when it pulls up, it wasn't trying to bow it. So we got them all mounted up there now. We'll get, the, uh, we'll get one of the hoses out and go ahead and test fit it and uh, show you how it works. So the goal of this uh, extra storage that we're mounting on the Kodiak is to help get all of these things like this, all the stuff that's in these bins up underneath the, uh, the camper and out of our pass-through storage. So one of these bins has like water hoses and extension cord in there and some other things. The other one has got all of our like sewer hose connections and the other things that go with that. We've also got these leveling ramps here. We got our chocks, we have the accordions right here. I have two of those. So in addition to the two uh, hose uh, tubes, the storage tubes that we just mounted, we're going to be adding a underbelly storage compartment uh, to the camper too. That's from Lippert. Um, that's, it's not here yet. So once we get that stored, 
all of the other things like this and even some of the connections for the uh, sewer hoses are gonna, is going to be able to go into that bin out here underneath the camper and out of the uh, pass-through storage and that'll free up some more space in here for like my cookware, you know, my cast iron cookware can go up here. You're not going to so, know what to do with all that extra space. Well, I'm going to enjoy <laughs> having all this stuff out, but I was going to show you. So this is the bin that we have that we keep all of our sewer hose stuff in there. So those tubes that we just mounted are going to be able to hold all of these and it will not be able to hold like this guy right here, the rubber boot or the Y connector, but that bin is going to be mounted right here in front of the axle in this area. So there'll be a bin here that slides out that all those extra things are going to get stored in. There'll be one on the other side too, because it's a double storage bin. So uh, once we get that and get that mounted, that's going to be a separate video. But I wanted to show you what we're trying to do to kind of free up some of our pass-through storage and get some of this stuff out of the camper. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll load the tubes up with our uh, sewer hoses now, see how it does. All right, let's see how this fits. Now keep in mind, we're, we're on a ramp. This is why the concrete is so close to the bottom of the camper. This is a steep ramp that goes up to our pad right there. So you can see how much ground clearance you have once this is off the pad. Are you awaiting the comments? <laughs> there's always comments. They'll, they'll guarantee you go through the comment section, there's going to be, that's going to hit the ground the first time you take off, you know, stuff like that. So it's just to be expected. All right. So I'm going to do two per tube, just like that. And so I did it so that whenever we pull it out like this, the, the end that connects to the outlet right here is here. So I've just kind of lined it up properly. And there you go. So there's That's awesome. Two of them right there. We'll put our cap back on. This thing is really fidgety. You got to get it right in the perfect spot. There it is. Locked in. Wow, that's great. Perfect. Yes. So the other two, I've got one in there and I've got one in the bumper right here as well. And we're going to put those in this guy right here. Well done, babe. Thanks. It's almost beer time. Almost. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Get that guy in here. <laughs> this is the one that doesn't want to go on very well. <laughs> when the camera's not rolling, I get it to snap of on course, of perfectly. Course. There it is. All right. There we go. That's great. Okay. I'm tired of being down on the ground. We're done. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but I'm happy with that, the way this turned out. These are very simple uh, storage solutions. They're not a lot of money. Uh, we'll have these on our Amazon affiliates page there as well. So anybody that might be interested in those. All right, guys, so that's gonna complete our install of our two uh, storage tubes there for the sewer hoses. And I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna really like this configuration, the way this is set up, and it's something that I should have done a long time ago, and I was just procrastinating. And after seeing other people do it, I, I said, man, it's finally time to get this done. So it's gonna be nice to be able to, once we get up to our campsite, and, we're, and I'm getting ready to hook up our utilities, be able to reach right up underneath here, grab the sewer hose, pull it out, hook it into the discharge right there, and this is gonna make things a lot nicer. So that's done. We still have our spare tire mount to uh, mount up underneath there. I've already got that, but I need to pull out of the garage and, and kind of configure it and, and see where it's gonna mount. I'm not sure exactly if it's gonna be behind the rear axle or in front of the front axle. I don't know how much room I have on, on the rear axle to get it mounted, but we're gonna we're gonna be showing that and as well as our extra storage compartment that's gonna be mounting underneath the Kodiak there as well. All right, so I'll bring you guys back and show you those installations and uh, hopefully we'll see you again very soon.